let's express the force in this rope as a vector. So we know the magnitude of the force, and we can get a position vector that's along the direction of the force from A to B. What we need to do is use that position vector to create a unit vector from A to B. Then we can multiply this magnitude by that unit vector to get the force vector. So what is the position vector from A to B? The x coordinate of B is minus 2 minus the x coordinate of A, which is 2 plus the y coordinate of b is positive 7, minus the y coordinate of a is 0, j hat, plus the z coordinate of b is 0, the z coordinate of a is 4, k hat. Okay, here's the position vector from a to b. What is the magnitude of this vector? 4 squared plus 7 squared plus 4 squared is 81. Square root of 81 is 9. Okay, divide this position vector by 9 to get the unit vector from A to B. Okay, so that's the unit vector in the direction of this 900 Newton force. Now we just need to multiply 900 times this unit vector to get the force vector. And that's the force vector.